Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a long time since I made a video. Uh, last you guys saw, I was working on the uh, 7.3 power truck I had. I decided to sell it and uh, I bought me a gas truck. I don't really tow anything, I don't really need a diesel and I was kind of feeling it was time to get a muscle car. So this is what I bought. It's a 68 Firebird. Now when I bought the car, the craziest thing, it actually had a it still has a Buick small block Chevy 350 out of a Buick Roadmasters 700R4 trans stock stock Pontiac rear end, but it had the TBI system from the Buick all wired and, and mixed together and, and all that. So what I did was get a Fitech set up for it with a just a stock heads for now. I was going to use an MSD as you see, and uh, I threw an American Auto Wire kit in. Now it's obviously not finished. You got a lot left to do. And then curiosity kind of got the better of me and I decided to pull the heads and see like what the wear looked like on the engine. It's a two bolt main roller motor. And so this cylinder has a nice scratch in it. And you know, the, the, you know, uh, the cross hatch is gone. It was really sludged up. So I've decided that I'm just going to Oh, and I put a, a champion radiator, three core radiator in it. I decided I'm just going to put a crate motor in it. Um, I've been looking at the AT, ATK 383, 460 horsepower. I think it's HP 101 or the Blueprint Blueprint 396, a small block they have. It's right around 500 horsepower, 500 foot pounds of torque. The reason I'm looking at the ATK 383 versus the Blueprint 383 is because of the torque numbers. The ATK makes about the same horsepower, but a little more torque. Um, anyways, I put a disc brake conversion on it from getdiscbrakes.com, I think it is. Um, didn't have any brakes on it when I bought it. Um, the reason the front clip is off, and as you guys can see, these are Camaro headlights. I believe there's seven inch headlights or whatever, but it actually had a Camaro front clip on it, which I'm a purist by no means, but the car is a Firebird. I just feel like the front end should be a Firebird also. <clears throat> now... What I'm gonna do with this car is basically, it's gonna be a ratty muscle car, something fun to just kinda tool around town in as I continue to make improvements. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with the trans yet. I may run the stock 700R4 until it just goes, um, cause it is gonna go behind that crate motor, more than likely. And then I'm thinking about maybe going to a TKO 600. I did have the car running and moving under its own power so the no trans is good you know like i said the motor could be rebuilt i'm sure no problem i just don't want to i don't want to put any money into that motor i just, i don't feel like buying or, or waiting and taking a machine shop and all that blah 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 you know all that time back and forth or whatever i just want to order one and have it delivered and, and stick it in i'm limited on space here i'm just in a like a car and a half garage sort of um and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put that motor in using all the accessories i currently have i ha i did put a one wire alternator on it um you know it's, it had a brand new water pump on it obviously the phytec system was brand new for it um and it actually ran pretty solid so i think next up i'm gonna go ahead and buy the sheet metal and start getting it looking like a whole car uh the crate motor i'm gonna have to wait on a little bit because you know and I'm not rich by any means. The headers that were on it. Probably just going to run those for now. I'm going to get the car running and driving to where I can make trips in it, you know, around town or whatever. And then um, upgrade from there. It's going to get air conditioning. I, I do want to make this a car that I could just jump in and drive anywhere I want to go. Whether it's from, you know, across the country or whatever. Um... Other than that, let me know if you guys want to see videos on it. I'll make videos whenever I do things to it. It's kind of a slower build. It's going to get all, I've decided pretty much I'm going to go with all TMI interior also. It was originally, uh, what, I, what I know so far is it originally was a white car. White, black vinyl interior, the deluxe interior I believe also. The um, It was a 350 Pontiac car obviously. 
and that's that's basically what I know about it. Maybe you guys see something I don't, but I believe it was an automatic car also. Just judging because there's no nothing that shows me that it you know that there was any kind of clutch, and I, and I believe it's a stock pedals and everything in there. So I did the the Fitech system I bought is a Go EFI four with the the power adder with the 600 horse. You know I believe that's the upper limit on it. I don't plan on putting any boost in the motor. I'm gonna buy. I think I think that's a 10 to one compression ratio. 383 or the or that 396 like i said the only reason i'm kind of thinking about 396 is because of the higher torque and everything inside the 396 is forged i'm just not sure on the reliability of that car or that uh engine so i'm gonna run it's it's i do believe the car it's got uh up you know upper and lower tube control arms I believe it's dropped two inches in the front. I'm not sure what's going on with the rear. Stock rear end, I mean, it's like a 273 gear ratio or something terrible like that. But all that's gonna get changed out. So, just something fun to ride around town in. All right, well, let me know if you guys wanna see more videos.